Hello everyone, this is Kanish and in this video, we will talk about JavaSocket programming, TCP and Datagram. Before jumping towards the code, let us first understand what is JavaSocket programming. The communication between client and server in Java can be achieved using JavaSocket programming. The connection-oriented JavaSocket programming follows the TCP that is the transmission control protocol while the connectionless socket programming follows UDP that is user datagram protocol. In case of TCP, there is no loss of data packets while in case of UDP, there is no guarantee that all the data packets will receive. The classes we are going to use in connection-oriented JavaSocket programming are socket and server socket. The client in the socket programming must know the IP address of the server and the port number. A socket is a predefined class whose object will act as a socket. Similarly, a server socket class is used to establish connection with the clients. In case of connectionless socket programming, datagram socket and datagram packets are used. The Java datagram socket class represent a connectionless socket for sending and receiving datagram packets. A datagram is basically an information but there is no guarantee of its content arrival or arrival time. The commonly used constructor of datagram packet class is datagram packet which creates a datagram packet and used to send and receive datagram the packets. Okay, so first we will see the connection oriented Java socket programming using transmission control protocol. Okay, so here we have made two programs, one for server side and one for client side. So first we will understand the client side programming. Here we have imported all the classes from .io and .net java packages. Then we have created this class client. Here we have made object s of socket class and we have imported this class from .net package. Since we are working on the same machine, so we will write the local host here. Then the port number that is 6666. Then here we have used data output stream class. This one also we have imported from .net package. This is used for sending the output to the server side. Through this get output stream method we map output to the server side. We have used write method in which we have written the message we want to send to the server side in unicode transformation format that is the UTF. As soon as the message is sent we will flush the dout object and then here we will close the dout object and the socket. If the code will have any exception then this catch block will run. Now let us see the server side programming. Here also we have imported the classes from .NET and .IO Java packages. We have created object of server socket class and passed the port number as the parameter for setting up the communication. Here we have made the object of socket class which is used to accept method for establishing the connection between client and server. The data we have sent from client side is received through the get input stream method of data input stream class and stored that message in string format and then we have printed it. We have closed the server here and put the catch block so that if any exception occur, this catch block will run. After running those two code, this type of output will appear. So here, we have to run both the code on different terminal as you can see and first you have to run the server side program and initially you won't see any message as output but as soon as we run the client side code, the message we sent will appear on the server side. And in this way, the connection oriented or the transmission control protocol Java socket programming works. Now let us take a look on connection less Java socket programming through user datagram protocol. So here we have these two codes. So as compared to the code earlier, here the D sender is acting as the client side and the D receiver is acting as server side. We have imported .NET package and then we have created a class D sender. We have made object of datagram socket class which we have imported from this .NET package and we have created a constructor of datagram socket class then we have entered message that we want to send in form of string so here the init address is also a class of .NET package whose object we have created and passed the IP address in this get by name method then we have made an object of class datagram packet and in this constructor we have passed string dot get byte the length of the string the IP address and the port number then we will send the message using send method of datagram socket class and we have passed db object in it. Now in receiver side also we have imported the .NET package and created the constructor of datagram socket class. But this time we have passed the port number in it that is 3000 and this port number should match the one on sender side then only the connection will get established. Then here we have made an array named buff and we have taken its size as 1024. Then using receive method of datagram socket class we will receive the message and then we will store this in a string. Then here we will print the string in which our message is stored. And at the last we will close the connection. 
and so for running those two codes separately now we will open the two terminals and here you can see we will see the message is initially not appeared but as soon as we run the sender side code we can see the message which we have sent to the receiver is received and in this way the user datagram protocol or connectionless java socket programming works thank you for watching this video for any doubt you can comment below in comment section